Welcome back to the channel folks. Today we're going to be going over the Voyager 4500 LPG oven install. Going to be showing you everything from how it's fixed to the actual kitchen cabinets to connecting the gas up. The oven itself boasts a two burner hob. It's got a good oven in there which we use for cooking lasagnas, the pasta bakes, pizzas, you name it. And it is a really, really good system. Would highly recommend this as people have asked us in a lot of comment sections. It was between that and the Camp Roast Master, but the Roast Master was just a little bit smaller oven and we thought it would be a bit useless. I think the oven that on, that's on this 4500 Voyager is about as small as you can get away with if you want to do a decent sized dish. The oven also has a grill tray. That was one of the main prerequisites for us. We use this quite a bit for making toast, which we like on a morning and the Camp Roast Master didn't have this feature. Apart from that, let's get into it. So that's the first one in place. These are 500 by 500 sheets. That was the right width, so I just had to sit it in, scrub underneath, and then I've cut it on the saw. So I'm gonna get these three panels done, and then I'll give this nozzle end a cut. Use the circle technique like you've seen in other videos to stick these on the sides. That's the stainless steel sheet, dry fit. So we've got the silicon fireproof sealant. I'm gonna take this protective cover off and then gunk them on. For the oven install, half a millimetre thick stainless steel panelling. I cut it to size, but in hindsight what I would have actually done is cut it a little bit longer and actually bend it over the top, as it does bend quite easily if you just hammer on the joint with a small hammer. The copper feed comes through there, comes out the back and along. And then it's just, just bend that there with the pipe bender and then it's on a quarter turn down there on the two-way outlet. Got this eight millimetre compression fitting which I'm going to fit to the gas inlet pipe here and then that'll obviously fix onto the eight millimetre feed that's coming out the back. As far as fixing it to the actual desk here, I'm gonna use these angle brackets. I got these from Aldi and they actually fit perfectly to where the bottom screw is. So these are gonna go on the front and fix into the front here. I can get a fixing through with this drawer open. The back screws, I'm not gonna be able to get in there. So I'm gonna fix it through the side where these two holes are for the gimbal set that you can actually buy with this oven. Use these screws here. These the screws that come with the kitchen handles but I had a few of these spare in my bits and bobs box them fit perfectly into these holes so basically I'm going to measure up and then drill through the sides of the stainless steel and then fix from this side so it's going to be nice and secure two fixings on the front and four on the sides is going to be plenty so I'm going to get this compression fitting on now using this as I have with all the other gas connections gas putty you just want to gunk up your female thread in your olive and then put your pipe in full thread and then just use your pipe grips and a spanner to tighten that on so let's get that on now and then we can look at sitting this in place So we're just going to install the oven here, pre-drilled the two holes what I marked on them um, angle brackets and these holes here 
which I marked with the set square and then drilled from this other side. So basically bottom of these M4 bolts, very small bolts, but that's what fits the side of the oven here. Then screw right in. So obviously they'll go through here and then into the oven, attach it at the front here as once the oven slid back, not gonna be able to get fixings down the back there because it is literally only 20, 30 millimeters gap. So gonna countersink these into the worktop here. So this comes out further and then that'll go into the oven. That's it. So we're just putting the oven in, just taking the fixings out of the back of the wall there. So this, this pipe can be pulled through, strip the sheathing back a little bit more, cut the pipe to length, drop the oven down onto the pipe. And then I'm just gonna nip it up with a spanner. So that's the oven fixed in place now. You can see the two screws through the side on both sides and the front. I've got these angle brackets on and I've just taken the screws that you put the angle brackets on the back with and I've had to chop them down a bit with the grinder so they don't poke through and catch this drawer. But yeah, that's it in place. Nice and sturdy, it's going nowhere. Happy with that, that's our oven in place now. Quality bit of kit, needs a bit of a wipe down as there's dust blowing in here all over, but brand new. Happy days. So that is the oven installed in its entirety, folks. If you've liked this video and it's been helpful, drop us a like, it'd be appreciated. If you've got any problems, drop them in the comments section and I'll get back to you. Apart from that, there's a few things I can mention. Number one, between where the 0.5 millimeter steel sheeting in the kitchen on the front is joined, I just put a little bit of aluminium angle bracket, which I got from the hardware store, and that just neatened that front off a little. Just neatens the front of the oven up there, makes the job look a lot nicer. And number two, we didn't actually go for the model with the igniter on the oven itself, as from the research that I did, I've heard that you do get problems with these and they just become redundant anyway. So we saved ourselves a little bit of money with that. I think it was an extra 50 or 60 pounds for that feature. And we just used a lighter stick to light our hob and our oven. And that was spot on with us. So I would recommend to do that as well. Apart from that, thanks for watching as always. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.